So in this video we're going to have a look at using conditions with Metabox and in a previous video we created a post and we have some custom fields at the bottom here but maybe we don't want them to appear if there is no entry. So let's have a look and see how we can set the condition to only display the content when there is um, something to display. So to do that we can head over here to Oxygen and Templates and then we're going to have a look at the single news so we're going to edit that with oxygen the other thing that we can also look at then is also look at applying the condition in the archive view in the archive view we also display uh, this custom field value here so what we can do is adjust the archive view to also display only based on an entry so we'll scroll down here and I'm going to open up the structure panel because we don't only want to disallow the field but we actually want to uh, make sure that none of the columns display if there's no entry. So here we are and what I'm going to do now with the columns is set the condition. So we head over here to columns, set condition, add first condition and what we're going to do then is look for uh, the custom field that we've created. So when you scroll through the list, you're not going to see anything that says custom field. But what we can do is see if the dynamic data, and once we've selected dynamic data, we'll head over to Metabox field. And in this case, we're going to select custom text insert and we're just saying custom text and you'll see here we can just say if custom text is not blank then display the value and in the second um, set of columns we're going to do the same thing set condition add your first condition head over to the dynamic data meta box and then we're going to say make a choice insert and we're just going to say is not blank then display the value so we'll save that and now we're going to head over to the website and at the moment we have a value in both of those items so I'm going to go and edit news and I'm going to scroll down now the second item we can't actually deselect uh, we haven't made provision for that in the custom fields However, in the first item, I can remove the, um, the text and now we're going to have a look on the front end. Now, you'll see that the field no longer displays because there is no value to that particular field. So to test the second field, we would need to remove the selected value. Um, so that would mean heading over to Metabox. Let's go to Metabox. Let's go to our custom fields. And so if we wanted to give the option for that field to be empty, then uh, we would have to have a look here at the fields and that's make a choice. So we look at the make a choice field and we'd actually have to make provision for a blank field. So let's just have a look here. Label ID type, label description, input description and choices. The default value there's no default value in so there's no um, readily available way to show no value so what we'd have to do maybe is try just inserting a blank row that would just um, create a choice um, so there's no way here when you're using the um, radio buttons to actually have a a no choice button so what you can do then is have a field value of none so now the user would have to choose one two three or none we'll update that and now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the custom field that custom news and we're actually going to give we're actually going to choose the selection of none and what we're going to do now is head over to oxygen builder and we're going to change our condition and because it's the radio button what we will do now is is say that if it 
is not equal to none then display the value and save so now when we view our news item on the front page you'll see that there are no items in the um, in that content area but we're still seeing the gray outline for that block and maybe we don't want that gray outline at all so if we don't want that gray outline then we can head over to the div the containing div and we'll set the condition there now and we'll set two conditions so add your first condition will be let's go to dynamic data metabox field custom content insert and we just say if that is not blank and we add another condition and we say if the dynamic data metabox uh, make a choice insert and we say that it is not equal to none so now we've set the two conditions which is great but that means that nothing will ever show if if um, only one condition is met so what we do is we head over here to the condition type and we change the selection here to all so now if either of those conditions are met the the text box will show so i'm going to save that head over to the website now when i refresh you'll see that the gray block is missing i'm going to edit the news and now i'm just going to update the second field and we're going to view the news and now you'll see that only the second content item is visible and similarly if i edit the news and i set that to none and i just add the text and i view the news you'll see that the first item and you remember we put an underline uh, a border bottom on that so you can see now that that is the first content element and then if both items have content that won't make a difference then you'll see that both items are now displayed so that's how you can adjust your uh, content using the um, conditions and in a similar way we can set that up then for the archive view so I'm going to head back to admin and head over to my templates and then I'm going to go to the archive news and we're going to edit that with oxygen so oxygen loading and what we'll do in this case is uh, we'll just um, have that be removed and of course then that will adjust the formatting and the button at the bottom will just move a little bit up in the layout so oxygen loaded and I'm going to select that element once again I look to select the div and just to make sure I have the correct div we open the structure panel and now we're going to set the condition so we set it in the same way and we go to dynamic data metabox field and because it's the choice we say insert and we say if the value is not equal to none right save and now when we refresh you'll see that we still have a value there I'm going to go over to read more I'm just going to edit the news and I'm going to change that selection to none update view the news now you'll see it's not displayed here and when I go to the archive view you'll see that it also isn't displayed there so that is one way then if you do want to uh, display maybe some text if that value isn't um, if there isn't a value then over here for example we could add another element so I'm going to head over to the div I'm just going to add another div which we'll put at the bottom here and I'm going to just give that a background color let's make it that color and then I'm going to add some text and that text I'm going to edit there is no value selected and we'll just change the text color there so it's easier to see and then what I'm going to do is just um, head over to the div so we just want to make sure we have the right div selected and I'm going to give that a size and spacing of 15 and what we're going to do is move that above the button 
and then I am going to give that a margin at the bottom of 20. So now we only want this to show if the value is actually none. Add your first condition, dynamic data, meta box field, make a choice, insert, and now we're going to say if it is equal to none. We're going to save that. And now when we refresh, you'll see that that value is selected. The other thing that you can do here in the back end, of course, is you can go to your condition and say show hide based on conditions. And then it will be show or hide based on the value of that um, field in the post. However, because we've made changes, we'd have to reload oxygen for those settings to apply. So maybe because you're in, you know, kind of developing, you want to just have it always show. We'll save that again and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the article and I'm going to insert a value. So edit news and I'm going to scroll down here let's give it a value of 3. We'll update that. We're going to view the post. There we have the value and now when I go to the archive view you'll actually see that the value shows um, as it should and the text indicating there's no selection is hidden. So that's how you can quite easily then set conditions to display or hide content using meta fields in Oxygen Builder. So I'd just like to say I uh, hope you enjoyed that and thank you for watching.